Assalamu alaikum my dear students I hope all of you are fine and doing well the topic that we will discuss today is the layers of atmosphere basically the atmosphere is the simple envelope of gases around the earth now that envelope of gases making up the atmosphere and it consists of different types of layers it consists of basically four layers the first one we have it is a troposphere second we have the stratosphere third is mesosphere and the fourth is the thermosphere these are basic four layers of the atmosphere the last one which is outside the atmosphere is known as the exosphere basically we have our atmosphere up to the 400 km but the surface that is present after the 4 km it is known as the exosphere exo mean outside so when we talk about the different conditions that are prevailing in these different layers the one thing is the concentration of the component of the gases all the components of the gas that are present they started to gradually decrease as we are moving upward it means the concentration of oxygen and all the gases will be started to decrease down where as we are moving upward from earth surface to the layers on the other hand as a result of this gradual decrease of the components there is also decrease in the pressure of the air but one thing the temperature of the atmosphere does not change in this gradual way sometimes it may increase and sometimes it may decrease so there is a gradual increase and decrease and it varies in a very complex way so when we talk about the temperature there is not a normal increase or decrease there is a variation in the temperature so here we will discuss the first two layers of the atmosphere the first one layer we have it is the troposphere basically the troposphere is the first layer and depending upon the change of the temperature over there we have its first type so in troposphere the major constitute are the two gases the first one we have the nitrogen gas and the second one we have the oxygen gas these two gases are comprising almost 99% by volume of the earth's atmosphere and although they have some concentration of the carbon dioxide they have concentration of the water vapors they may we can say that they are negligible in the atmosphere but they also play an important role in the environment why they are important because they are retaining or maintaining the temperature of the atmosphere as both these gases just allow only the visible light this is important factor we have the visible light to pass as visible light is comprising of seven colors that is known as vibgior and or the visible light just pass through but it absorbs the radiations that are known as ir radiations the ir radiations are known as infrared radiations that are emitted by the earth surface when we talk about its simple length troposphere it just extends from earth surface to the upward from 0 to 12 km and here the temperature ranges from 17 degree celsius to minus 58 degree celsius it's mean there is a decrease in the temperature as we are moving upward from earth surface to the troposphere on the other hand when we talk about all other conditions of the troposphere as we are moving upward the concentration of the gases like nitrogen and oxygen started to decrease gradually as their height or the altitude increases 
correspondingly we can say that there is also a decrease in the temperature due to the increase in the so this is a sphere where the aeroplanes just fly and where the clouds are present and they help in the process of rain so this is the region where all the simple weather factors occur and all the aircraft just fly in this region then we have the second layer which is known as the stratosphere if we talk about the stratosphere the second layer that extends from 12 to 50 kilometer after the troposphere and here the temperature range is minus 58 to 2 degrees celsius it's mean there is an increase of temperature and there is the simple increase of the height this is the stratosphere and this is the region next to the troposphere just extends up to 50 kilometer and this is the region where the ozone layer is present ozone is the allotropic form of oxygen which is O3 and ozone is present in a layer form in this region and it is now responsible for the rise of temperature in this region so here the question may be asked that why in the stratosphere there is an increase in the temperature the simple reason the rise of temperature is just due to the ozone because it absorbs all the radiations on the other hand within this region the temperature as increases as the altitude increases and the stratosphere is the layered the temperature approximately reaches to the 2 degrees celsius and it is a layer which absorbs high energy UV radiations from the sun and ozone absorbs all that radiations and then it breaks down that ozone into the oxygen and the atomic oxygen which is O it is also known as the monoatomic gas and in the mid of the stratosphere there is less UV radiations passing through it here then the O and the O2 again combine and changes into the ozone layer so ozone formation results in this sphere and the lower layer or the lower part of the stratosphere receives very low UV radiations because here monoatomic oxygen is not found and ozone is not formed over there because it is present on the upper layer of the surface so this was a simple overview about the troposphere and the stratosphere i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section the next topic that we will discuss it is the atmosphere's layer that is the next layer which is mesosphere and the fourth one layer we have troposphere. By that time you guys keep learning and have a good day.